Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to get your hands on those beautiful Diamond Assault Rifles. But before I jump down that rabbit hole, I'd just like to remind you guys to leave a like if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and if you're already a subscriber, be sure to enable notifications to know exactly when I post my next video. And be sure to check the description also for a link to my 500 subscriber giveaway. Now onto the actual video itself. Now I know I'm a bit late to the party, and there are already numerous videos out there on YouTube showing you how to get the diamond camos fast, but I thought I'd share my video anyway. There are three main areas that I'm going to discuss, and I'm going to try and give you guys as much detail without waffling and wasting your time. So the three main areas are as followed. Class setups, specialist ability and payload, and the game type. Firstly, we're going to cover the class setups, and I've come up with two separate classes. One for achieving the headshots, and another for the rest of the challenges other than the Bengal camo. Now the first class setup that I'm going to show you is the standard class and it should be on your screen now. The four main attachments that I advise you to rock with would be Elo Sight with a reticle that you're comfortable with, Quick Draw, this is pretty mandatory. It gives you a distinct advantage over those who don't have Quick Draw and basically allows you to aim in faster. Four Grip, just to reduce recoil and make those long range gunfires easier and finally Stock. It allows you to strafe in and out of cover and around corners, it just makes it harder for someone to shoot you. Next we have the perks. These are going to stay the same for both the headshot class and the standard class. You have Ghost and Blind Eye in the perk 1 slot, Ghost to prevent you from being spotted by an enemy UAV, this allows you to stay stealth so you can get behind enemy lines. Blind Eye just to protect you from being killed by those AI targeting streaks such as the Warden and the Sentry Gun. We're not going to have a perk 2 and Dead Silence is in the perk 3 slot. Dead Silence also helps you to stay stealthy and prevents people from sound whoring you as a lot of people use good headsets such as the Turtle Beaches or the Astros these days. Onto the Headshot Weapon class and the four main attachments that I would advise you use are Elo Sight, I would also advise that you use the default reticle or one that has a distinctive dot just to make aiming for the head easier. Quick draw and stock, same as the standard class, both extremely useful attachments. Finally, hollow point slash Faraday slug. This attachment increases weapon lethality to the head, so makes getting headshots a lot easier. Hollow point is for the standard bullet weapons, and the Faraday slug is for the energy weapons. The perks are the same as the standard class, ghost and blind eye in the perk 1 slot, no perk 2, and dead silence in the perk 3 slot. Now that I've talked about the class setup you should use, I'm going to advise you guys to use a specialist with a non-lethal payload, and my pick will be the Synaptic Specialist with the Rewind Payload and the Propulsion Ability. I would advise this Specialist combo just because the Propulsion allows you to jump around the map quicker and the Rewind will reheal you, refill your ammo, and you get this Specialist pretty regularly. Now onto the game type, for the first 4 camos which are Desert, Mars, Arctic Tech and Wilderness, you only need to amass 200 kills with that weapon, so I'd advise Domination or Hardpoint, a game type where the games last longer giving you a greater opportunity to rack up more kills. These challenges shouldn't take you more than 4-6 to six games maximum depending on your style of play, maybe even less than that. Now for the rest of the camos, I would definitely recommend that you play some form of hardcore, but not free for all, one that has an objective and I would recommend hardcore domination. This just makes getting the 160 headshots a lot easier, especially if you're using the hollow point slash Faraday slug attachment Every headshot kill is basically one bullet for each of the assault rifles. I would recommend domination just because people will be focusing on the objective so you can conjure up some nasty flanks and shoot the opposite team in the back of the head, A free headshots. Now the final set of camos, assuming that you're doing these challenges in hardcore, I'm going to run through one by one and offer you guys some tips to make them easier. Also, I wouldn't wait until you finish the headshot camos to start this section. After you've unlocked one of the headshot camos, you can start to do some of these camos. So to start Autumn, you need to have gotten the Mojave camo. To start Whiteout, you need to have gotten the Snakeskin camo. To start Bengal, you need to have gotten the Salamander camo. To start Murdered Out, you need to have gotten the Splatter camo. And finally, to start the Neon Tiger camo, you need to have gotten the Zebra camo. To unlock the Autumn camo, you need 25 long shots. So you need to try and find the longest line of sight on each map and basically just camp there and rack up the kills. To unlock the whiteout camo, you need 50 kills whilst aiming down sights using an optical. If you're using my suggested class setup, then this should come in no time, and I wouldn't worry about concentrating on this camo. You'll just unlock it whilst trying to unlock the other camos. 
To unlock Bengal Camo, you need 50 kills without any attachments. Pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to go over that. To unlock the Murdered Out Camo, you need 20 double kills. Like the White Out Camo, this will come over time. You just need to kill two people 20 times within a short space of time. Note though, if you get a triple kill or greater, I don't think that it counts towards your double kills, so I would wait around about 3 to 4 seconds between each double kill. To unlock the Neon Tiger camo, you need to kill 3 enemies without dying 20 times. This is a pretty straightforward, but if you're using the rewind payload like I advised early on in the video, then this shouldn't be too difficult. Now that's going to do it for this video, the Assault Rifles is probably the easiest class to get diamond, you've got to be willing to put the time and effort into getting them diamond. Now before I go, I'd just like to remind you guys to leave a like on this video if you found it useful. It really helps my channel grow because it lets others know that I'm creating good content. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and check the description down below for a link to my 500 subscriber giveaway. Now with all that said, I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay play out and this has been your boy Flash. Until next time. Objectives. Securing Charlie. Stay secure. Set that bad day. Securing Bravo. Securing Bravo.
Nice work. Well done.